One of the ways we can improve our Azure continuous delivery process is to add a quality control gate. There's a couple quality control gates that are simple in Python. One is linting and the other is tests. Let's make the lint part what we covered right now. I'm gonna to go to the official Azure documentation here and show you that you can either install a lint by adding a script section to the YAML file, or you could add PyTest and collect coverage report data, and that could show up as an artifact. I'm gonna go ahead and do this section, right, is I'm gonna add this uh, script section. So I'm just gonna copy this, and uh, also I'll go back again to my Azure Cloud Shell environment, and I'm gonna select this icon for the editor. And what's nice about this is right inside of my project, I can select the checkout and go to that Azure Pipelines file. And I can scroll down a little bit and find where would be a good spot. Well, this looks like it's a good spot. I've already activated a virtual environment and uh, I've got some installation set up there. So I should be able to add another section here. Uh, I can paste that in. And I will slightly tweak this though, because I'm going to use PyLint. And to make it even easier, I'm gonna show you, I can mimic what I do in the shell. And this is why I like the make file. If I type in make lint here, you can see that it runs a PyLint command with exactly the options I want. And I want to replicate this in this uh, environment. So what I will do is, uh, essentially just copy this syntax uh, right here. And put all of this in to this. In fact, I can just uh, mimic this. In fact, this would be the best way to do it. Go through here, mimic it. And then instead of this, these two um, setups here, because I've already got this stuff uh, triggered, uh, I can say make install, and we can say make lint, right? It actually uh, dramatically simplifies what's happening. And if I go again to what they called this display name, why don't I just copy that uh, syntax? So we'll go through here and we'll say display name. There we go. So this will let me see what that build step is. So that looks pretty good. I've got the installation, uh, I've got the lint, and there are also make commands. So what I will do is uh, I will run a get status here and commit that change. So that change to PyLint has triggered a deployment and now I can watch it actually go in action. So I can click on this link and look at the build job in, in practice. And this will actually go through and uh, in fact, run our lint. So you can see that I was able to, by uh, in, including that command here, make sure that the lint actually works. So this is really helpful is that it shows me the exact name uh, of the deployment process step that I added and I know that my code has got an additional quality control gate that is really powerful and helps me in making sure that I don't deploy things that have problems.